Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I have another video on an awesome vehicle. This is the 2022 Honda Ridgeline RTLE. It's right behind me. We always joke that the E stands for everything. The vehicle has everything that Honda offers um, on the Ridgeline. So let's get this video started right now. All right, so getting started here, uh, it has been raining slash snowing slash icing slash sleeting, whatever you want to call it here um, in Maryland today. So it's a little bit of water down. You, you might see a few snowflakes here and there um, going on right this second. So let's start out with the front here. So all new design uh, that they brought out in 2022, a very much more aggressive styling here um, on this ridge line. Um, and they still keep that same face here for 2022. It looks very good. Uh, what you'll have here is uh, you'll have LED daytime running lights that are right there. Right there you have uh, LED headlights. You have your high beams there um, on the vehicle. And then down below that you have your turn signals which are right there. And then all the way down on the bottom you have the fog lights there which you can see. Um, so again, big broad hood. Looks very masculine, very good here. Um, you also see that the grill is big big Honda logo here. Um, everything's big. <laughs> uh, and it drives absolutely amazing. This is actually my daily driver. Um, I don't have this exact truck, but I have an RTL um, and gray. So absolutely nice truck. So coming over to the wheels, these are gray finished wheels here um, on this RTLE. And uh, these are 18 inch wheels. They are wrapped in 245 60R18 wheels. And then coming on, on over to the mirror, you have the Bali colored mirror cap LED turn signals. And this is the Pacific Pewter exterior color, if, if anybody was wondering. Pacific Pewter exterior color. You'll see down at the bottom you have plastic cladding that goes all the way through the vehicle. Same size 18 inch wheels here on the back. And then talking about around back, you have the tailgate section in the bed. Um, and back here you have LED brake lights there, turn signals, and then reverse lights down there at the bottom. Twin exhaust out here out the back, which looks very nice um, and gives you a nice little roar actually here in this V6 engine. You also, on every ridge line, you have the tow hitch installed there for you with the harness. And uh, you also have a multi-function tailgate. Let's uh, show you that feature right now. All right, so back here on the tailgate, there's uh, two different ways you can open this. So the one is obviously the traditional tailgate truck bed. We'll take the traditional truck there. The other way, which is unique just here to the, uh, the ridge line, down below that all-wheel drive logo, which is standard on every ridge line, right down below it, you'll see the wording spelled out release here. And if you put your hand underneath there, I don't know if you can see that, little, there's a little latch here. Um, and we can release this latch. And this truck bid, uh, the, the tailgate actually opens all the way up like a barn door and, uh, and allows you to have access to that trunk, uh, the truck bid, which is uh, very spacious. You can put a tonneau cover up here to cover the, uh, the bed as well. And then also down here below, you have a little lockable storage area, an end bed trunk area that is very deep and down here, it's got carpet and mats, uh, but down here you have a little area where you can release um, the cap here and it actually will drain out. So you can actually have like this uh, being a cooler um, at a tailgate um, or whatever you wanna do. So um, pretty nice. You can have a different, a multitude of different ways. With my Ridgeline, I actually usually put my groceries in there when I go to the store because um, it's, it's pretty convenient and it locks. So when I lock the doors, it locks as well. And you can see right there that you can also lock it by the regular key as well. So pretty cool. And then when you shut it, locks it up, and then you can shut the trunk. I call it a trunk because that's what I feel like it is. But no, the tailgate, you shut the tailgate just like that, guys. So let's go up to the uh, underneath the hood. All right, so underneath the hood, same engine options here for 2022. It has the one engine option, actually only engine option for the Ridgeline, 3.5 liter V6 engine that has made it to a nine speed automatic transmission. It is also hooked up to all wheel drive on every single Ridgeline and this powertrain produces 280 horsepower. You can also tow 5,000 pounds and have a payload rating right around 1,400 pounds in the bed. Um, so very nice, very capable truck. Uh, I'll have some more specifications down in the comments section below and down in the description. Let's go up to that middle row. All right, middle row time. You'll see the snow starting to come down a little bit uh, more here. 
So let's go to the window sticker before I go anywhere else. So uh, you'll see right here, um, where are we at? There we are. 2022 Ridgeline all-wheel drive RTLE and then over here fuel economy ratings is 21 combined 18 city and 24 highway and this vehicle is final assembled in Lincoln, Alabama. MSRP is $45,190. Let's open up this back area. Leather seating surfaces here on this RTLE but before we get there let's go over the door. Um, so chrome finish on the door handle, power windows, and then a nice big cup holder storage area here. Nicely padded armrest right here, and then a, a little space down there at the bottom, which uh, looks like where you can put some stuff, you know, leaning against it here in this uh, in this bed. You also have leather seating surfaces here in the ridge line, and then in the middle you have a big. A uh, cup holder down there. You also in this ridge line for a truck. Being a truck, you have the tethers. Uh, for child safety and then over in the inside uh, you also have your air vents and then two USB ports down there at the bottom as well very spacious very nice here in this Honda Ridge line let's go up to the front all right guys so let's go up to the front before I do that I want to show you the Honda key real quick so traditional Honda key they've had for a few years um, lock unlock remote start and then the panic button there and then on the back you'll see the Honda logo with the driver one right there on it and that just uh, stands for the there's two different keys so driver one and driver two and uh, you can have different settings in the vehicle like uh, your seating surfaces your mirror settings all that stuff and it matches up to the key so you and your significant other can have uh, different settings and not have to worry about changing them every time you get in the car because the key would already know what to do so anyways it does have intelligent access so hands are free here I'm gonna walk up to the door press this little black button and it's gonna lock the doors on it so I uh, can't get in the car you can't get in the gas cap either so prevents anyone from taking your gas if you lock the car at night and then when you get back up to the car you can put your hand right behind the door and it unlocks it so and that only works if you have the key in your pocket so coming up to the front door here I'm gonna have black cla plastic cladding all the way across there um, very versatile and very durable that's what they really went here on the red line I want very very much a durable car um, you have a nicely padded armrest here a little area where you can put some like change or uh, you know cards hand sanitizer whatever uh, and then over here you have your power windows power locks and then you also have the um, locking mode for the windows so that the kids can't move their windows or uh, or the passengers anybody can't really move their windows and you have your memory seating settings over here down below that you have the gas cap release you also have a little storage area here and then uh, over down a little bit further you do have a little storage area down there as well and then another storage area down below speaker down there as well as you can see coming on over next to the steering wheel on the driver side here you have your econ button you also have your power mirror settings right here and then down below that you have some cargo lights you also have the uh, AC 115 volt uh, inverter there that you can turn on you have uh, a multitude of different things here parking sensors lane departure warning it's all right there down below that you have your parking brake and then you also have the release uh, lever here for your your hood as well coming on down below on the seats um, these are uh, power adjustable seats with lumbar support right there as you can see on the seating itself, it's uh, full leather seating surfaces here, heated seats here, and they are uh, perforated as well. I don't know if you can see the dots there, but they are perforated. So let's jump on the inside and look at some more features on the interior. All right, guys, welcome inside the Honda Ridgeline. Giving you a little view outside the front of the vehicle here. All right, so up on the top here, we got a, a nice sunroof, nice big sunroof there. And then over here you have uh, the power controls for the uh, the lights and then also uh, for that uh, power sunroof there. You also got your dome lights here as well. Down below that you have a um, auto dimming reverse mirror there and then you also have uh, your home link stuff so you can actually hook up your garage openers right there. Coming on a little further you have a little uh, speaker up here in the middle uh, which makes it really nice uh, audio inside here down below that you have your 8 inch touch screen that has Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility uh, compatibility and uh, you have navigation here as well coming on down below that you have your hazards lights a little bit further down you have your um, tri-zone climate control there um, that you can actually have which is this actually is a class exclusive um, feature here on this Honda Ridgeline and these are these uh, tri-zone climate controls. So the driver, passenger, and rear um, 
you know, passengers can actually have different climate control. So if you're, you know, a hot person and you want to have the temperature down on a little bit colder, you can do that. If your passengers are more uh, cold-blooded people, uh, they can have a little bit uh, hotter there as well for them. So coming down a little bit further, you also have uh, three zone heated seats for the front driver and passenger. You have a little storage nook down here as well. And then a little bit further down, you actually have, uh, you have a wireless charging pad, plus you have your 12 volt and uh, USB ports down there as well. Coming down a little bit further, you have your shifter here for the nine speed automatic. Uh, you, you have park, reverse, neutral, and drive. A little further down, you have your drive mode select, which I'm gonna come back up here and show this up to you right there. Uh, fuel economy is low, it's down, or fuel level's low. So you have normal snow, mud, and sand. And those features are right there, and just by pressing this button. And then you have your auto stop start uh, feature turn off button there. Right there you have a cup holder. And then down here in the middle, you actually have a nice little storage area here. And it's nice because these chairs come with armrest on them. So you don't need an armrest here. You actually have this nice big storage area um, that's right here. And it's nice and big down inside there. You also have a USB port and a 12 volt power outlet down there as well. Pretty nice. Coming on up to uh, the top here, let's turn the steering wheel straight. And uh, let's start with the, uh, the steering wheel here. So this is a leather wrap steering wheel here. Um, nice big leather wrap steering wheel. And then on the uh, content, you have your volume up down buttons here for the radio. You also have your hang up and uh, answering buttons here for your phone. You also have that remote here for your uh, voice control, which you can do also Siri and Google Assistant. Down on the back side here, if you can see it, you have a heated steering wheel which is incredibly nice feeling on the hands there. I'm gonna turn that on so it uh, keeps me nice and warm here in the vehicle. Um, also on this side, you have your adaptive cruise control with the Honda sensing features here. Um, nice, all the settings are right here. And then down below that, you have the features that control this middle screen uh, right here. So I'm just pressing up and down on some of these buttons and it goes through different options like oil life, you have your uh, tire pressure, you have your fuel economy, miles to E, that kind of stuff there. And then uh, up on the top there, you'll see you have a digital uh, speedometer right there. On the side, you have a tachometer and then on the other side, you have your fuel gauges and temperature gauges uh, right there. Uh, so one last view outside the vehicle and then I'm gonna get out and wrap this up Thank you guys so much for watching All right guys, thank you so much for watching this video on the 2022 Honda Ridgeline um, Sorry if you can't hear me too too well It's uh, right on the highway here, so I'm a little bit uh, fighting with the traffic guys So I do apologize, uh, but that has been the quick walk around on that 2022 Honda Ridgeline Great truck with a lot of capability um, and versatility in this segment. It is also super comfortable and uh, it has a lot of space for passengers as well. So if you are in the market for a new Honda, new Ridgeline, um, any new Kias, any pre-owned vehicles, uh, we have tons of selection. Please give me a call. My number is 410-822-7717 or you can shoot me an email at paul.philip7 at me.com. Um, if you guys could, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It helps me out so, so, so much. Uh, I'm almost to a thousand subscribers and that's the next goal on this channel, guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, put them down in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video.